Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Governor Hope Uzadema of Himo State has revealed uh, how he became the governor of Himo State and how he became the candidate of the APC uh, in, uh, to contest for the governorship election in Imo State. I became the APC candidate through the Ben Johnson way, Hope Uzadema says. The governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzadema, has revealed that he became the APC governorship candidate of Imo State in the last election through what he tagged the Ben Johnson way. Governor Hope Uzodima made this public while addressing stakeholders of the party in the state. Over who was entitled to anything in the state or in the government? He revealed that he had come from outside and did not have a structure in the party, but was able to maneuver his way through the Ben Johnson way to get the party tickets. Uzadima had outsmarted the former governor, Ruchas Okorocha, during the party's congress and primaries with the help of Gulak and the former national chairman of the party, Adams Oshomole, to emerge the candidate. However, there is a ruling by the Supreme Court which states that Uche Nwosu, the son-in-law to former governor of Imo State, Owele Richards Okorocha is the rightful candidate of the APC in Imo State. Uche Nwosu was disqualified by the Supreme Court for having the dual candidacy of the APC and AA in Imo State as the Action Alliance. However, the RAP governorship candidate, Barista Kingdom Okeri, had approached the court to interpret the Supreme Court ruling. The case was adjourned to the 29th of September 2020 for hearing. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? What does the governor of Imo State mean by the Ben Johnson way? Meaning that he didn't get the party's candidacy as a uh, through the normal roads where you had to cut corners, you know, bend ways and go through illegal means if that is what it is or that is what the Ben Johnson way could be interpreted to mean. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But guys, what do you, uh, what do you uh, think? So probably we should call the governor, uh, Imo State governor, the Ben Johnson governor, alongside with other titles that he has been uh, other, uh, with the titles that he has been given as the Supreme Court Governor, the Abuja uh, made Governor, Abba Kiari made Governor, you know, uh, the Ben Johnson Governor, the new title of the Governor of Imo State. So, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? This further strengthens the belief of so many people that the Governor of Imo State, Governor Richards of Korucha, did not win the election but became the governor through the back door because he had the connections, he had the backing of the presidency, especially that of the former chief of staff to the president, Malam Abakiari, who, from the look of things, were able to prevail on the Supreme Court to give judgment in favor of the APC candidate, or the Ben Johnson governor, or the Ben Johnson candidate of the APC, as it were. Well, it remains to be seen, guys, how these things, you know, are turning out. We know that time will tell. With time, things will be revealed. A lot of things will be revealed, and uh, a lot of things will come to the open. So gradually, we are beginning to see and beginning to understand how Hope Uzadima came to become the governor of Imo State, you know, from the back door, as a lot of people had concluded in their minds and in their opinion. Well, I stand to be corrected if I am wrong on this particular issue. But well, that being said, since he said, since the governor said that he became the candidate of the APC through the Ben Johnson way, is it right or is it safe to conclude that uh, the governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzadema, 
is also aka the Ben Johnson governor. Well, it is what it is. Anybody is free to call him what they want to call him. But you remember and recall that the governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzadima, had said that anyone who calls him the Supreme Court governor or Abuja made governor or the Abakari made governor would be arrested and prosecuted. And uh, I think he, there is a case of someone who has been arrested and prosecuted in Imo State, you know, for calling him the Supreme Court governor and all that and all that. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? It is very, really, really sad and unfair if in this country, you no know, uh, people can still go through the back door or to achieve their aim and their desires, leaving uh, people who uh, rightly de deserve or uh, who rightly got their own, uh, who rightly deserve uh, the position to wallow in defeat. This is not justice. Uh, so the, I think our justice system needs to be strengthened. The, the judiciary needs to be strengthened. Uh, they need to be fearless and they need to be independent, truly independent. You know, they need to be truly independent so that they will be able to discharge their duties without fear or favor. So as it is and as it were right now, the rap candidate uh, barrister Kingdom Okeri has gone to court to seek the interpretation of the Supreme Court. Because the Supreme Court ruled that uh, Uche Wosu, the in-law of Richard Zokorocha, is the lawful APC candidate. Then how come has the APC produced uh, Hope Uzodima as the candidate of the APC in the same election? So this is uh, a controversy this, uh, that is contrary to themselves. This is a judgment that is contrary to themselves. It remains to be seen what the judgment of the Supreme Court would be. A lot of people believe that the Supreme Court cannot change its decision whenever that it has given. So since the Supreme Court cannot change its decision or its judgment that it has given or that it has made public, so what would happen to this particular case? Maybe because the Supreme Court has judged that Uche Wosu was the right candidate of the APC. So automatically, if the Supreme Court cannot change their judgment on that, or on you know that they have made public, then it automatically translates that Uchen Wosu, who was the candidate of the APC, was could take over the votes of the candidates of the APC and become the governor, or the APC will be disqualified from the election, and whoever is the winner among the many political parties, which eventually is the candidate of the PDP, Emeka Hedioha, should be sworn in as the governor of Imo State. So, well, we are laymen. We cannot, we really do not know the integrity of all these things. But be that as it were, you know, just uh, on a layman term is how we have analyzed and opined on this issue. The, the, the judiciary have their jobs to do. So the case is at the court of law, at the, uh, the at the high court at the moment. You know, he, we are yet to see what will happen. So whatever the court deem fit during its its hearing, you know, will determine what the outcome of this issue would be. But be that as it were, the most important thing that we should take note here is that Hopu Zadima has admitted that he became the candidate of the APC through the Ben Johnson way, what he termed the Ben Johnson way, which is probably through the backyard, outsmarting, outsweeting, or, you know, and uh, cunningly, as it were. That is what likely can interpret it to mean. Well, I stand to be corrected, guys. If I'm wrong, what are your thoughts on this particular news story? Do we call him the Ben Johnson governor, the Supreme Court governor, the Abakari made governor, the Abuja made governor? What do you think is the right title to give to the governor of Imo State, Senator Hope, who's on the map? Well, it remains to be seen, guys. What are your thoughts? Please kindly drop by the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.